Zero's on the Winding Cove on the EDZ. He's currently selling the Curse of Osiris armor. I'm going to show you all of the armor right now, unshaded, uh, because I kind of have to make this video pretty quick. So we're going to be looking at the Warlock Titan Hunter and the weapons and everything else. If this is the first uh, Zero video that you've seen from me. Uh, we usually look at the, like, from the bottom up. So uh, let's just get into it. So the armor, uh, the only thing I really like is the the chest piece and even then i'm kind of like whatever's about it and the helmet i think the helmet's very usable you can actually put a plus 10 on resilience so that way you can have a plus one on pretty much everything that's important to a warlock other than that i would ignore everything else as for how it shaders unfortunately the sides of the chest piece and the bond itself does not shader well and any other piece that you see right now uh the arms and the boots are probably the best piece for me personally and the helmet is also very unique, so that's probably why I would also get the helmet itself as well. Other than that, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. As for the Titans, I think the armor set is really cool. I've seen people use the arms in really cool ways. Uh, I've been using the helmet for like electronic looks, and I think the boots and the chest piece are also really usable. As for the armor set itself, I think the arms are pretty usable. I think the <laughs> chest piece is, you just ignore it. The helmet you can definitely use. Uh, you can definitely use it with like bump up your resilience, go all the way up to resilience, and then put another piece that's focusing on recovery and discipline all the way up and just to equalize it. And then the boots, I would just ignore. They're very basic. Uh, other than that, uh, how it shaders is really cool. I think the only issue is the, the mark itself. Other than that, every piece shaders really well. The chest piece specifically has a rectangle in the, in the front and two in the back that actually change glows. So yeah, a lot of things to like about this set. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. As for the Hunters, I think the whole set looks really cool. It's just, unfortunately, I don't really like a lot of the geometry of the armor itself. Uh, for the actual pieces, I think the arms are very usable. You, unfortunately, you would have to find another piece that has high recovery. This is kind of boring. This is kind of boring. And this is also kind of boring. So, well, all of these you can use. I Specifically, the boots you could definitely use. It's just for me... Uh, mobility is really important for me so as for our shaders shaders really well actually so there's not a lot of pieces that i would recommend aside from maybe the boots the boots are really cool the arm has a really cool like one armor piece on one of the sides the cloak is actually pretty decent and the helmet and the chest piece for me are probably the worst pieces because the chest piece looks kind of boring and the helmet looks too specific so let me know what you guys think in the comments below as for how shaders again i should have showed you if not i'll show it right now and yeah not not nothing too much to talk about for this one so I do apologize that i didn't go through it how i usually do but i do have to do a dungeon in a bit as for the weapons we have grave robber elemental capacitor which i'm gonna ignore tunnel vision thrash or thrash nah threat detector and disruption break i would probably pick this up unfortunately it doesn't have the icolos uh the the uh the it's it's from an old season i'll, I'll explain in a bit truth teller with blinding nades, or no, uh, yeah, well, it does have blinding nades. Feeding Frenzy and Swashbuckler, which is pretty decent if this wasn't a grenade launcher. We have Widow's Bite with Lead from Gold and Demolitionist. I'd ignore this one. I'd ignore this one as well. I'd also ignore this one. So the weapons are, I'm not a big, big fan of any of the weapons that we've gotten this week. We have Hawkmoon with Hipfire Grip, ignore it. Um, Dead Man's Tail with Moving Target. If you aim down a lot, then definitely get that. We have Sweet Business, Gemini Jester with pretty okay rolls, Eternal Warrior, I would pick this up just if you don't have it, and Claws of Ahamkara, which is really good. Uh, the rolls are actually pretty decent, 23 resilience is pretty nasty, and 8 recovery is pretty decent because once you uh, put a plus 10 on this, it'll be 20 once you master it, so pretty decent as well. As for the exotic, let's actually see what I get. Frosties? I'm not going to say no. Oh no, well... Uh, I guess I'll just leave a comment at this video telling you what I think. Um, ignore what, ignore this. This is not my cowboy look that I'm making for one of the cowboy armor. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Okay, again, I do apologize. This video is a little faster than usual, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. If you guys want to follow me on my social media, let's send in the description below. I have a lot of content planned. I already have all of the Warmind armor, which I'm definitely going to make a video for just the hunters because... I'm going to be doing all of the armors individually, aside from the ones that I'm, I'm going to buy, specifically the Assassin's Creed armor and 
and the uh, arc armor, which we'll get by the end of the season. So let me know what you guys think. Think, be safe, and I'll see you guys later.